People want to thank you all for tuning in, logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour. Right here on Illuminati Radio, I'm your host, I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. If you're new to this channel, please tap that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop this breaking news stories on you. Hit that like button also. Um, so, let me tell you something. Right, Mike Tyson looks bad. That man looks bad. That man done went through so many damn rituals in his life. You know what I'm saying? From killing his own daughter. You know what I'm saying? That man, he just messed up. You know what I'm saying? And the elites done did a whole lot to him. Now, I don't care. Every boxing, every boxer, they are put in that position because the elites made them that way. When you see these boxing champions... They did not win these boxing championships organically. They didn't win it because they're good with their hands. No, they did not win it because they're good with their hands, people. I know Mike Tyson, you know what I'm saying? He's a good street boxer. He's a good street fighter. You know what I'm saying? I would not go up against Mike Tyson in the street because I know he probably would just whoop my ass. I understand that. I wouldn't even go up against Holyfield in the street because I know he would whip my ass. But when a boxer, when 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 a, a person get in the ring and now turn it into a professional career and get into a ring and it's carefully orchestrated, it's the elites making you win. You understand? Holyfield won his fights because this. The um, the fights was staged. Mike Tyson won his fights because the fights was staged. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 um, Floyd Mayweather won his fights because the fights was staged. You gotta understand between reality and artificial. When you pass your soul to the fire in the Moloch, the reason why Satan can guarantee you. Success because he can stage everything to turn out in your favor. That's what you got to understand. So when these rappers sign these contracts and they become a big time star, it's because the elites make it turn out in their favor. It's all about a part of passing your soul to fire the mola. Now, Mike Tyson, he went live on his Instagram and he said, I know you are a man of God, but he said, I'm God's man. You hear what he said? I'm going to say it again. He said, I know that you are a man of God, but I am God's man. What do you mean, Mike Tyson, you are God's man? What do you mean? Hmm? Because last time I checked, when I seen your, a couple of years ago, when I seen your HBO documentary series, your HBO uh, documentary series, you was talking about effing somebody in the ass. God's man don't do things like that. Actually, God's man is against effing somebody in the ass. God's man is against things like that. You know what I'm saying? I seen you doing an interview, and you was interviewing Lil Bootsy. And you was defending the LGBT. You know what I'm saying? God's men is against things like that. So what God are you talking about when you say you are God's man, Mike Tyson? Oh, another one, another thing. You know what I'm saying? Your I think it's your daughter, you have another daughter or something like that, and you say your daughter is an LGBT -er, and you promote that? Well, God's men is against that. So what part of God 
What God are you talking about when you say you're a God's man, Mike Tyson? Oh, I get it. You are <laughs> Lucifer's man. That's what you are. God's men don't get their face tattooed, get a big birthmark on their face, looking like a jackass. God's men don't do that. Because the scripture says, thou shalt not tap the body. God's men don't do that. So what God's men are you? Mike Tyson. What God's men? That's not the right God. You, are, you got the wrong God, Mike Tyson. The wrong God. You know what I'm saying? But this goes to show you that there's no such thing as retiring in any field when you pass your soul through the fire of the Mola. Yes, the Mike Tyson Holyfield fight, that was legendary. Legendary. Why would you want to rematch that? Huh? It's not because you want to do it, Mike Tyson. It's because your God, the elites, told you to go back in the ring, take your little old ass up, and take your little old ass back in the ring, and go back and make some more money. For who? Make some more money for them. That's all it's all about. Because you know how much money that this fight is going to gross, people? Do you know? Because you got a lot of brain dead people who follow this boxing thing and think that this boxing thing is real. So you got a lot of brain dead people is going to go and pay just to watch this boxing thing. Because I remember it was another boxing match years ago that Mike Tyson was fighting in and it didn't last one round. I paid for that pay-per-view, and a lot of other people paid for that pay-per-view, and they was upset because they didn't even get to sit, sit, get sit and enjoy. It happened so quick. That goes to show you that this boxing thing is staged. All of this boxing things is staged, people. You know what I'm saying? The Bible says in the book of Revelations, I know the blasphemy of them who call themselves Jews, but they are not, but they do lie. But they are the synagogue of Satan. They the one that staged this. Mike Tyson just a puppet. And he said May 25th. It's going to be. A big match. A rematch. Lord. Let's hope Mike Tyson make it to May 25th. How about that one? Let's hope Holyfield. Or Mike Tyson. Make it to May. Oh, but not May 25th. May 29th. Let's hope they make it to that. And if they do, it's going to be a whole big money maker for the elites. Because the puppet Mike Tyson and Holyfield is out of retirement. And they're going to make money for the elites. It's all stage, people. This, this, and if this fight go down, best believe it's going to be staged. It's all staged. But anyway, this is news. I want to thank you all for tuning in, logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour. Right here, Illuminati Radio. I'm your host. I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. If you're new to this channel, please tap that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop this juicy news. Hit that like button if you like this show. And don't forget, if you want to join my exclusive Facebook Messenger group, you can do so by sending me a friend request to my Facebook page, which is PSTR Michael Smith on Facebook, and I'll add you to the group. That's PS. T.R. Michael Smith on Facebook and I'll add you to the group. Till next time, stay tuned. God bless you.